everybody, Jamie Griffin here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Tiller Money's automated budget to help you stay on top of your budget, to help you track your spending, create a custom financial dashboard, and to eliminate debt um, all in one place using Tiller budgets. All right, let's dive in. Okay, if you're new to Tiller Money and their automatic budgets, um, I have to tell you I am a super fan of this company and what they can do to help you stay on top of your finances, track your spending, um, make a budget and start getting rid of your debt. And the cool thing is it does a lot of the work for you. And so if you are hesitant to budget, you've been unsuccessful budgeting in the past, Tiller Money really can help you out a ton. Um, as you can see here, this is their homepage and it's your final life in a spreadsheet automatically updated every single day. It does it for you because it connects to your bank account. All you have to do in is go in and categorize some things, which I'm going to show you how to do today. And I'm going to show you some of their newest features to make it more user friendly, to add multiple different tools into one spreadsheet, like a debt, uh, a debt snowball log, a, a monthly budget, yearly budget, and then overall insights and transactions. So if you're looking at Tiller's homepage, and I will have a link to this down in the description, I am an affiliate partner for them. So if you sign up with Tiller using my link, I will get a little bit of a commission. Um, no extra cost to you, um, but I love Tiller and I've got it set up. Um, I'll show you in a little, little bit our own family Tiller budget here too. So if you're already logged in, you already have an account, you can hit log in or you can hit try Tiller for free. You do get a free month trial for this, um, absolutely free and you can cancel after that if you don't like it. So the steps to get into this are the same. So I'm just gonna hit log in because I already have one. If you were to hit try Tiller for free, it'll take you to the same page because you can sign in with your Google account. And I believe this is the one I have signed in. All right, and so this is gonna take you to your Tiller dashboard. Welcome, Mr. Jamie Griffin. And this is where you can actually start doing some things. The first thing you're gonna to want to do is to get signed up um, with or link with your bank account. And that is you're going to do here, you're gonna view your connected accounts and get that started. I'm not gonna show you how to do that today. Um, I'm going to assume that you can get that started on your own. It's pretty user friendly, um, but I wanna show you how to actually make a budget. You're gonna hit create a spreadsheet is what you're gonna do. Um, so you're gonna hit this drop down, and this works seamlessly with Google Sheets, which I'm another super fan of. For you, they have beta testing for Microsoft Excel if you're more of that. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do it with Google Sheets because it's fully functional, up to date, and I think and love Google Sheets. So start with Google Sheets. And while Tiller used to have a bunch of different templates for that or a yearly, the goal that you wanted to achieve. So if you wanted to have a template for that, if you want to set up a monthly budget, that a different template for that or a yearly budget. Now everything is in one template. So this is the only template you have. But once you get it set up, you can add those different options you want as well. I'm going to show you how to do that. So from here, you're going to hit click use template. It's really the only option you have. And it's going to take a couple minutes to get it set up for you. You can see it's automatically doing this. It jumps right into Google Sheet. And again, it'll take a couple minutes to get this set up. You can see already there are some tabs on the bottom. We've got balances. Um, so it connects to your bank account. So it's got your credit card balances right in there. Or credit card. If you connect your credit cards and just your bank checking and savings account balances. A yearly budget, a monthly budget. You see a spot here for categories. Behind my little buttons here is one for transactions. That's where it's gonna, the tab where you're gonna automatically download all of your transactions into. And that's where you're going to go to see your transactions and start to categorize them. And this page we're on right now is our insight. We're gonna click use. It's gonna ask us to accept some terms and conditions and to link with your account, which if you're doing this, you're gonna to wanna to do that. We're gonna link this sheet with our bank feeds. And this is so that Tiller can automatically download your bank transactions into your spreadsheet. And you can choose the ones that you want to connect. I'm just gonna select all because it's gonna be easier. Um, I want all of my transactions from all of my accounts going into this spreadsheet. All right, so now it's loading my balances and my transactions, which might take a couple minutes because it backtracks for a few months. All right, so it's done. As you can see, I've got 960 new transactions. 647 new balances added, but it should be all set up and ready to go. Um, so like I said, the transactions tab, this is where all of your transactions are gonna be downloaded into the spreadsheet automatically from your bank account. And as soon as mine opens up, there you go. You can see all of my transactions over the last few months. 
are all in here. All my transfers, all my credit cards, everything out of my checking account, any debit card swipe, all in here going back months. And so it just took maybe three, four minutes for that to download, which is pretty darn quick. Holy cow, we're all the way back into September. In August, so you can see um, it does put a lot of detail in there. And then what you need to do, let's scroll back to the top here. What you need to do is you see this little drop down menu in this column D, is you need to click that drop down and select what budget category you want that transaction to go into. So if you bought something at the grocery store, you're going to want to hit the grocery tab. So we'll find one that I actually went to the grocery store for, maybe. Maybe not. We'll just pretend this is a grocery store. It wasn't. I'm just going to load these up, and these are all preset in. Cool thing about this is you can go in and classify this and change these categories. So groceries. So I'll just hit groceries. It would categorize it under groceries, and that would put it into my monthly and yearly budget. Before you go and do all that, click on this categories tab. And this is where you're actually going to choose all of your categories for your expenses so like i said it's got automatic categories already in here but all these are editable you can change the names of any one of these to match your actual expenses and your budget so this is going to take a few minutes to do and if you already have a budget set up someplace else this will be a little bit easier otherwise you can look at your bank statements or just guess at the different places you spend money like your bills are going to be obvious food gas um those things are going to be pretty obvious but things that you don't spend money on a lot, you might not think about right away. And that's okay because you can always add them in later. If you're going through this transactions tab and you see something on here, um, for example, if you see, we don't often buy our kiddo um, new toys, but if we were to buy our daughter new toys and I saw something on here that was new toys, I could just go into my categories, create a new category for baby toys or kid toys, and then I could uh, choose that for my drop down menu. So again, that's pretty easy set up your transactions and your categories is really important. And then the other part in your categories tab is when you get all of the your categories set up, the group, that's more for your own personal use. If you don't want to use that, you don't really have to choose whether it's expense or income. And then there's a little note in this January column it says enter budget amount into January and they will automatically populate into each subsequent month and you can edit ones afterwards so our phone bill is 111 dollars so if i enter that in there it's automatically going to put 111 dollars in for every single month there you go it pops in 111 dollars in there for every month um so it's going to do that and so if there's a month for utilities if this is 50 dollars a month but i know that in the summer i don't get don't spend as much on utilities i know it's going to be a lower amount you can change that so if i know starting in june my utilities will be 15 dollars instead of 50 i can change that and it should automatically do that so if june and july i know that's going to be 15 i can manually change a couple of those but otherwise if you know it's going to be the same all the way through then you can just enter it in once and it puts it in for all of the days so that's your transactions, that's your categories. It's gonna put that into information into a monthly budget and a yearly budget. Which you can see here. Um, and it only puts things in that I categorize. So on this transactions tab, if I don't choose a category for it, it's not gonna show up here. Um, and this is gonna be really skewed because I only have a couple things in there. Like I entered the phone in there and utilities. So that's the only thing that's categorized. So it's gonna be really skewed. But as you are putting in all of your transactions, this data is gonna be really helpful for you to see where you're actually spending money and how much you're budgeting for to see if you're over budget or under budget. There's a yearly budget, your bank balances. And then this is the part that I wanted to show you that is new. If you go and click on add on and all right, and you go to Tiller Labs and like view solutions when it uses the word solutions like that's another category or another tab that we can put down at the bottom to help us further track our spending further track your income and paying off debts so you're going to have to 
click I understand. And this is where you can grab a debt snowball template on here and include that in as a new tab down at the bottom. Before you had to have a whole separate spreadsheet for that, and which was kind of a pain in the butt. And I know I've had some people that have asked me, hey, can I get that into this spreadsheet? And now you can. So once you get open the, again, you're gonna go to add-ons, Killer Labs and View Solutions, you're gonna add a solution. And I think this is one of the best updates that Tiller could have done. And you see right here, the top featured solutions, you can track your net worth, you can track your debt progress. So I'm gonna click track debt progress and I'm gonna add it to the spreadsheet. And so it's gonna take a few minutes to work, but we're gonna see a new tab pop up down here. And it's down there already, debt progress, which is awesome. Again, that took all of eight seconds which is amazing. I'm gonna close down this little sidebar because I don't need it right now. If you ever need that, you can always pop it back up with the add-ons tab. And so right now it's not showing that I have any debts in here because I we're debt-free, so we don't actually have any student loans or credit card debts. We just have our mortgage. So if I wanted to, I could put that in here. But otherwise you can connect all of those debts and accounts to this sheet and it would have them popped up in here. So actually, it, I mean, my credit cards are connected. So if I had credit card debt, I could put them in here. And it will run a scan and tell me how much I have on that card, my minimum payment. Um, and according to this, it's going to give me a debt freedom date of December, 2019. If you actually have debts connected in here, it's going to obviously be in the future. And look, look at this, it's populating already. We had a balance of $424 on here. Our current balance is zero, so our progress is 100%. It is paid, uh, which is amazing. And I'm a huge fan of the debt snowball method, but I know there are a lot of people that love the debt avalanche method. So briefly, the difference between those is the debt snowball method is you're gonna pay your lowest balance loan or lowest balance debt first. So you see small balance first is a snowball. If you wanna do it in a different way, and do the debt avalanche, which is you're paying your highest interest rate first, you can choose that. And it will give you a different um, payoff order and it will give you a new debt freedom date um, if it could be different. You can also rank your debts. So there's a spot here for rank. So if I wanted to rank them one, and two, that would tell Tiller that I wanna pay off credit card one first and credit card two second. And from my drop down menu up here, I can choose the lowest ranked first. So it will start paying off number one first and then go to number two. So I love that they added this in here. It's gonna make paying off debt easier for, um, because all of your stuff is in one, one, centralized location. I think that is one of the messages that Tiller wanted to change and send out was that you can create your own customized dashboard of how you want your budget and financial like trends and insights to look based off of the different solutions you want to add to your spreadsheet. So those are the main updates and the main uses of Tiller. Again, um, I hope this walked you through how to use Tiller money, their automated budgets, and to help you track your spending, to track your debt and to help really get a hold on your finances um, to make some good progress. So that is, I think, all I've got in this video for you. If you have any questions um, or comments, send them down, leave a comment down there. And if you found this video at all helpful, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell too, so that you get notified every time I post a new video. I love Tiller, so I plan on making more videos about Tiller money and Tiller automated budgets and some ins and outs of it. So if you are a huge fan of Tiller or just getting started with it, follow some of my other videos. Um, I'll leave links for them here as well. I've got a few other videos on Tiller and how to get it set up and categorize your transactions and all those details that I kind of glanced over today. Other ones go into more detail. So remember, hit subscribe, leave a comment and check out some of those links that I have down in the description to get some more additional resources. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.